Yeah, for whatever reason, my headset feels like it's wanting to fall down. Yeah, that thing is hella nasty. It doesn't show from here. situations I'm glad I don't have to breathe. Seriously, something is fucked with my head. I can't the fuck on. Probably, well, I wouldn't say I'm a trustworthy raider, but I am getting something out of all this, which is that sword doesn't hurt anyone. Well, it might be strange to think I'm probably one of the only raiders that cares about that sort of thing. I think it makes you better than the rest of them, at least. Maybe less raider than you think. Yeah, I suppose. But I've also been the worst of them at one point or another. Started out just some kid, some town, taken in by one of the nastiest clans there ever was. Managed to rise through the ranks until I was the king of their little fucking group. And then I decided it was a smart fucking idea <laughs> to try and pick a fight with everybody. Yeah. 
Probably caused a lot more suffering than I needed to with the idea that I was making the world a better place. After all, if my raider clan was doing good by the people, surely couldn't hurt to go take out all the ones that weren't. I mean, how nice it would have been, the entire barons united under one raider clan that knew what it was to do the right thing, rather than taking from people, simply asking for a tithe, you know, a monthly payment for protection, and never more than they could spare. But it turns out... Trying to rule the entire barons tends to make a lot of enemies. And picking fights with every raider clan that ain't as good-willed and good-spirited and good-natured as you are... ...tends to be all of them. And so you start some big major Jesus war, Christ. people on your side die, people on their sides die. Little people who don't deserve what's gonna happen to them, who are caught in the middle ground, die. People die because... ...that might mean something to you. And any sort of damage is real damage if it makes you mess up sometimes. And underhanded tactics come into play, cause raiders don't got nothing like a Geneva Convention. Nothing of the sort. Anything that Geneva works doesn't exist. is feasible. Even shit that doesn't work but ain't been tested is up for grabs. The most deranged, horrifying tactics you could imagine. And you're faced with two options. Either you start doing the same shit back, or there's no way in hell you got a chance of winning, let alone surviving the ordeal. So they pull you down to their level, because that's the only way you're making this out, out of this alive, let alone pulling a victory of any kind out of it. You lose a lot of stuff along the way, bits of yourself, inside and out, bits of your soul, such a thing it still exists. And so you have to rely on some sort of Hail Mary. Rumors of some evil magic thing that might win the war. And it turns out, maybe it would. If you can prevent yourself from losing your mind. And without many options, sure, why not? Take a gamble. Unearth something that shouldn't be unearthed, wield it against your enemies. Sure, the item itself might be evil, but if you use it for good, surely that balances out. But eventually your mind can't take it anymore, and you get even worse than you were before. You start rationalizing all the evil things you've done. You stop feeling guilt or regret over them. Because it ain't your mind telling you anymore what's right and wrong. And soon enough you realize you ain't you anymore. And then everyone who looked up to you, followed your orders, thought they had a chance, realizes you ain't anything anymore but a husk. So they wave the white flag, stick it in your ass, and throw you out into the desert. And then scatter to the winds. Let the enemies you made tear you apart. But they're not taking the fall for you. And then they figure out that whatever's left of you ain't worth taking revenge on. So they keep you around as a party favor for a couple of years show you off as a trophy of what happens when people try to fight them, even though it wasn't them that brought you low. And then one day, they stop caring about you, and a couple days after that, you manage to escape. You end up somewhere new, you fuck things up, you go on another run, end up somewhere new again, and you just drift from place to place like a tumbleweed until eventually that spur that's stuck in your brain gets knocked out. And somehow you come back to it, and you gotta remember everything that happened all over again. Being in charge ain't easy. And you tend to make a lot of stupid decisions the first time you're handed the reins. Maybe sometimes it's better not to get on the horse in the first place. Yeah. yeah, that's life, though. 
Retirement ain't so bad. Just have to sit around being scared shit'll happen again. History repeats itself. Do you drink? I try not to. Do you do anything? I do far too much thinking. Far too much for my good. My own good or anybody's, I think. Well, that was great. I work on cars. I was so tempted to do some warp walker stuff there, but decided not to. Drive around. Oh, you didn't do it? No, I was going to say, I was thinking right now, think while well, there's no one around. Yeah. Um, just staying next to El Haj. I wonder if I can just topple. I wonder if I can start a civil war here. <laughs> Make mm -hmm. one of you guys go crazy and cause a civil war. Now that I mean, you probably could, out. honestly. Yeah. Looks like he might. I might. Yeah. I might say that while he's alone. Back to Boomtown. Make him think that he has mm -hmm. ideas, and then just. Ah, from the sounds of things, just because <laughs> yeah. he's a little bit. This one's a little bit. Um. He's just a prick. <laughs> yeah, maybe just them vying for control. Even mm -hmm. if they didn't take any so I'm gonna say I, know that that I wonder if I can topple. I wonder if I can get you guys to topple this. Boomtown. <laughs> now that <laughs> would be trust. Potentially, mm. and that alone's dangerous. I, am I fine saying that? Mm -hmm. Are you okay with that? Yeah. But if they can convince okay. you to, however slow it takes, however long it takes, that still gets them close to whatever they want. And that's no good for anybody. Nobody but themselves. Sometimes not even that. Mm. Oh, by the way, Tex. Good to see you walk around again.
No answers. Not a single goddamn answer in the lot of those fucking punks. I can understand the sentiment. Someone not good with Find me. <laughs> I don't know. Sorry if you're busy. I'm terrible at social stuff. So I just wanted to ask: Are we on, are we on speaking terms, or did something happen? I'm also, not aware about. Also, if six and or uh, Cole try and find me, I was never here. Okay. The fuck you took? I don't. Uh, yeah, who are on speaking terms? Right. Okay, I wasn't sure. Yeah, Stix isn't very good at the talking thing yet. I never was, I think. Mm. No, you're okay at it. Sticks just trying to use this stuff. That is right. As far as I can tell, you do have a good support group. With the strays. Uh, yeah. I think so. More a bit of a mess. <laughs> Everyone is a mess, I guess. As I said in the past, broken world and broken people. But at least we can try to make something out of this jigsaw puzzle. I suppose so. If anything, talking to dog sort of helps in some ways. Trying to do things in the moment instead of carrying everything at the same time, you get overwhelmed. It's not any way to manage your stress, I guess. Patch says similar sometimes. Go with the flow. <laughs> I'm learning. Okay, I'm learning there. Good. Just give me a thumbs up, Thrama. I'm happy that you do. Yes. Looks weird on you. <laughs> Thanks. You're welcome.
Hey, it's alright. Blue vibe. Oh. You're wondering where most of the people are. I guess they had some sort of car meetup. I wanna say something about the bar, but. You scared me. <laughs> you scared me a bit. I apologize, I sometimes forget that I'm not making much noise. Uh, everything is just really quiet today, and I still feel kind of... I'm trying to get some... <laughs> just movement and you know... I'm fine on air. <laughs> it's just after drinking... Well, I didn't really drink, I... I ate the... Void. <laughs> uh, that thing. Mustang right. hasn't been feeling the best. Yeah. Look, you it's should be happy happened. that you only have stomach pain after what I heard went into making this shit. Oh, I was it. They dumped the. Basically, I took a taste of it and. I started to hallucinate where the floor was basically kind of like lava and I wasn't thinking right. They gave me, it was coated in blood, you know, they dipped um, a grilled cheese in it and then I ate it. So, <sighs> so my stomach hasn't been feeling the best. Oh my god. <laughs> Have you received any medicine for it already? I threw up, but no, I haven't. <laughs> I should have came to you, but... Uh, right. Can I get some medicine for it? <laughs> Is that okay with Yes, you? that's probably for the best. If that's gonna persist, I think we might have to flush your stomach. Yes. Look, I know Die Happy has this entire philosophy about being happy and well, dying while being happy, but I think dying from alcohol poisoning is, you know, not on the... how to say... On the list of worthy deaths, it's not really that high up. My stomach is... Oh, it's really uh, that's fair. Well, that usually happens with alcohol. You have fun, you have fun, you have fun, and then... And then comes the downward spiral. Yeah. Like, it's not so bad after you then, you know, throw up and stuff. Totally... Well, at the very least, you, yes, throwing up did definitely help. Actually, like that would fall under basic medicine, I think we might have something. Let's see. For stomach pains, uh, food poisoning, alcohol. I don't, will they even, will the basics even help me at this point? Let's see. I mean, sometimes the fundamentals are the right call. And I'm gonna roll for that, unless you rolled already. Uh, was it? I rolled for stomach pain. She's trying to hold oh. it. <laughs> She's trying uh. to keep a straight face. You can see her, you can see her discomfort. I think I'm good. Uh, the heads up. We're starting to have some IO people running around. No. Uh, <laughs> Just as a precursor to what happens let's, next. Let's come uh, upwards. Okay. I think I'm doing good. I'm. Yeah. Yeah. 
Okay, I think... Yeah, I think... I thought after throwing up, I'll be fine. I think... I think, you know what? I think I'm good. Uh, I think I'm good. No. Uh, actually, no, I'm not gonna get you up to the surgery room. So here, and I'm gonna bring the... Well, we'll have to flush your stomach. Oh. Oh no, that's... that's Just not good. Um... Sit, sit tight, I'm gonna be right back. Tell me, did you manage to drink all of it? This, this void thing? I didn't drink. I kind of ate it. I took All a right. piece with my pinky. The rest of you, there's quite a few people at the bar. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Uh, you sure right. I'll be fine? Just a moment. Supply room. I wanted to punch him so bad in that moment. I want to be so fair, real. If we if we did have a the fight with him, he'd then have he'd then have like the strays and security on his side. So it's like a downhill mm. fight just because he's yeah. purely biased. No, excuse and us. Just wants to fight. Sorry. Excuse it's me. really just all bias because ooh, we, we we know that guy. He wouldn't shoot someone for no reason. Meanwhile, everyone else here does. Right. Let's see. Okay, this will be slightly unpleasant procedure, but the alternative is worse. I might start by giving you other painkillers so it won't be as bad. Hold on. Let me take off my. Uh. There we go. I've gotten pretty solid managing the proper dosage. It will act just in the right way. compared to the previous times will be mostly about IV drip making sure this substance works its way for your body okay. IV applied of course when the digestive system kicks into overdrive well, keep hydrated. You might spend a while. <sighs> Although, if you be feeling like you're gonna throw up again, tell me I'm gonna grab a bucket or something. Okay. Thank you. No need to thank me for all my work. That's pretty much the main reason for my existence and my usefulness to the town. And this is my second time actually like being treated. This time was, was it, you see the scar right there from the, was it the time, was it, bullet, like, psh, went by her arm. So, yeah, second time me being here. I know people have way more numbers than me, so, I hope not to be in here again. 
look, two times it's like nothing compared compared to like Aven or or Vivaldi had a moment when he was like he, here almost every day. People get injured who sometimes doing dumb oh. shit. I would say drinking a poison. I'm gonna need that bucket. Uh, got it. Alright. Okay. Thank you. Just a bunch of stuff. Blech. It looks not good at all. Oh. Just let it go, oh, just let it fall. Got it. Right. Thank you. More poison outside means less poison inside you. Not, I think this is not so bad. This is this is <sighs> Yeah. Oh I hear it. <coughs> 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 this is the first time. It's fine, it's better for yeah, for this to like go out. But this is the first time you are suffering through alcohol poisoning. I don't even think that was even alcohol. <laughs> I think for you did the thing. Although honestly, considering your reaction, it's perhaps it was so <laughs> it was <laughs> We was it basically put a lot of stuff in there and uh, mostly kind of like it's <laughs> oh god oh. okay I'm gonna grab second one okay there it is. I think I'm good. Right, so just in case, place it. Yeah. Gonna, and I'm gonna dispose of this. Right. Dealing with medical waste. Alright, speaking of potentially dangerous poisonous things, I'm not sure if you were informed about possible biohazard that appeared uh, next to the wall. Do you know the, the back entrance in the sewers? Uh, yeah, 
I think so. Like, was it down below? Yes, you go down below and then this is long corridor and then you are able to pick ladder up to the surface. I think so. I, I think you talk about the same thing. Sorry if I feel like, like out of it right now after me That's just understandable. Up. Yeah. But yes, long story short, right next to that back entrance, there seems to be like a pool of, not slag, it's not green, it's weird, like bubbling substance of very, very dark color that definitely looks like a biohazard. I don't think I've seen that. If I did, I probably wouldn't really remember it unless I saw it. Yeah, so just saying in case you see it, just make sure to keep distance and definitely do not touch it with your bare hands. We are still running analysis, but this shit looks like something that could melt off your hand if you touched it. Does it sound very good? I'm surprised everything is so quiet today. Honestly, after a collective, I... I'm glad we have quiet day. Although earlier there was the entire arrival of several folks from Boomtown something about car meat. Yeah, I've heard about them, but I haven't really seen them. <laughs> For the past days, I've been, you know, pretty much being a shut-in. So... That's understandable. It's like recently, was it? Dakota's been trying to make me go out more and I'm just like, I don't know. So I'm out now and everything's pretty much changed. Look, one step, up, step at a time. Mm. Hey, despite the consequences, partying seems like a massive step to not be a shut-in. of the work I think I feel... that remains with your body. I think I feel a little bit better. <sighs> I think I feel better now. That's that's good to hear. Is it okay for me to get up and stuff? If you feel comfortable with that. Go ahead. Not an expert in diet, but try to at least another day eat more light. Yeah. Not to overindulge. It's no problem. 
No, try not to do anything too crazy. At and least with you. Like the best fun I had <laughs> in a while. Well, in this case, fun thing ended up without severe consequences. And at least you are one of the people that I can trust that if I say that, you know, we should take it easy, you will. With many folks, I I'm not gonna be, like, getting out of bed and doing something crazy. Listen, if I'm ever if delusional and, like, that state of mind, if I get hurt enough, please strap me down. Full permission to strap me down. Why would All right, be? if any, I don't know. A lot of things happen if anything happens to me. That's all I'm saying. If I go or, you know, just, I feel like I'll be very, like, how do I explain it? Like, so I'm just saying if anything happens in the future where I get hurt very badly and if I want to get up to go see something, please stop me before anything i don't want to be like uh who, who does that or something like they're deadly hurt and you know getting up with they have like a bullet i don't know is that a thing with magic users sorry this is like gonna sound weird but there was this whole too long story to explain but this was this whole thing when the has was very pissed off circumstances not matter much in this situation it was very aggressive and turns out if you didn't know he has this like party trick of having claws in his hands mm. yeah right so he definitely did not seem like himself so i take it like a emotional connection with your magic abilities i Compared to Prometheus, I don't really know shit about that stuff. Hey, Trauma! Oh. You like bodies, right? You scared me. Oh my god. The fuck? What do you mean? I need a moment. The chameleons are killing their own kind. Chameleons? We're speeding up the process. Say what we now? have two bodies in the park. The Iogen thing. Alright. Oh, they're Iogen, man. Oh, Seems there's like... two bodies in the park. I know that you like bodies. So, um, they're killing our own kind. Like, I saw one appear behind the other and slit its neck. So, and I'm shooting more. We we got two down. We're getting, like, 15 more to go. This is going to be a good hunting season. Hooray! Hey, happy to see you. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, I, you, were so much... I... you, you were saying about the fire today. Oh, shit. Shit. Uh, you okay? Uh, after eating the... Wait, I think it's good right now. Um, yeah, yeah, that, that sounds about right. Come yeah, on. But uh, keep keep like weapons on you right now. Uh, apparently they're Iogen. I just learned that now. Um, chameleons, they go invisible. They're still... I have a, I have one of the dead bodies in my hands right now. I was told by Thatch to start bringing them to the hospital. Is there a specific place I should put them? Uh, fuck. Leave them in the reception area. Will do. Thank you. That's a simpler term. Did you Punishment for death, right? Excuse me, dead body coming through. Yep, yep, yep. Oh. 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 That's what trauma said. There's two more incoming. Oh, it went. Oh, you killed another one? Nice. No, the two ones in the planter. Have you ever, like, oh. tried to capture one of them? You know, oh, yeah, we did. Eggs? Yes. Why? I think it's dead They're now. Attacking? Have anyway, you seen them alive. in person? It's like, it's, it's still alive. Do they look the same? They don't speak. I... They don't. They just smile at you weird, so I gotta just gun them down. Alright. So... I'm gonna deal with that during the night, I suppose. Mm. Trauma, do you know anything about these things other than the fact that they can't talk? Well, with a sir, I did the whole autopsy thing. 
yes, capturing them will give you no information, they cannot talk, as in they literally do not have vocal cords. What if... no, that's a weird idea, why would I think of that? Giving them vocal cords. Telepathy. And they are organics, but they feel like manufactured. So imagine like me may make the factory, but being full organic. Mm. That's weird and strange. Oh, oh, oh. Mm. There's more. Okay. There's Harry, more. Do you what? see one? Where's one? Where's one? Where's one? Mm. It was one next to the vending machine where I was at the garden bodies. Start putting them here. I don't want to occupy the rooms for patients. Okay. Hey, I'm gonna go tell others about this because this is really. Oh, oh my god, come oh, on! My... Oh! <laughs> what did that... Okay, great! Okay. Totally not! And you were saying something about quiet death. It's not quiet! It's just bodies! <laughs> yes, now it's not. This is why. I... But this I do wonder. I... Should I even be out right now? This I'm is sorry. new, and this is weird. <laughs> Uh... I mean, compared to the both of us, you do have a weapon to protect yourself, plus your magic, so... Yeah. You could see it sparking. <laughs> yes, try not to smack me with this. I am not that good insulated against electricity. I'll try to keep this away. Also, they're invisible. Yes, they can turn invisible. They have this whole thing. <sighs> How to say? Basically something taken from a squid-like creature, tied into their clothes, and this is how and why they are able to turn invisible. They are still present, they can, you can still smack them, but... So into the... Yeah. So they're shooting, great! Okay. <laughs> okay. Um... Okay, Just now so they're kind of chilling. Just so you know, they are bringing bodies yeah. to the hospital. Well, they snuck up behind Jaskara. Damn. I kind of want to fuck with the people sniping and just... Here, Kami, get up on this ledge. So they see us a little bit, I'm just gonna come up behind you and push you off. Yeah, say again, Shadow. What? I they didn't say anything. Bringing, they are bringing some bodies to the hospital. Yeah, okay. no, uh, we know what they are. You know. Wait, did someone, did someone call me? Like, to deal with that death? Oh, right. no, no, no. I was just uh, asking what Shadow was doing. Uh, okay. Alright, call me. Ready? Mm. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Wait, just start walking up. I'm gonna come up behind you. Um, Scar, they they killed you, right? <laughs> yeah, it was very quiet. There's footsteps. Go we're up the stairs. <laughs> go, 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 go to the stairs. I'll start blocking exits. Here. Go, go, go. You want to go in? I'm, I'm blocking exits so no, they can't leave. I, I, I blocked it. Okay. I don't really right, have a weapon, back. so. Oh, 
Are we clearing rooms or what are we doing? Do, do we know where it went? You go that way. Oh, you mean down that way? Yeah, I was saying check the rooms. Bing. The fuck? The fuck is that? Huh? The fuck is that? Is that the was that the elevator? Oh. oh. <laughs> Oh, oh hi! That's that's the janitor. Mm -hmm. Okay, um I'll keep checking up here with them. Uh you guys have fun. Mm -hmm. <laughs> guys? Yeah, just be yeah. careful are we Mr. Janitor that there are some weird uh, no clue. well individuals happening did we clear out the other rooms mm -hmm. and if that will not be too much trouble uh, okay. we are okay. storing a few bodies so mm. i probably need, will need your assistance in cleaning this off after i move mm -hmm. them to a different location mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> We have a situation. It's out here! Are you alright? Oh no! It's somewhere! <laughs> I don't have any fucking scanners in my head, so I. <laughs> I can see them, and I don't have weapons. Did they manage to make it out? Fun. I think so, yeah. I don't know. Gotta check in front of you real quick. You gotta check in front of you, there's a little pocket between us. You gotta check in front of me. No, you gotta check in front of you behind me. You gotta check. Behind me? Oh, I'm looking at one. This one looks okay, similar I'm not to the previous one. ones. Okay, okay, you got it out. Oh, that's... <laughs> the ones that are killing each other, do they look all the same to you? Yes, they all look the same. What the fuck is going on? Yeah, no, they're killing themselves. Are they killing each other for Electrona? They, they, they're killing... Push, push, push. The they're fuck killing the themselves? Video. Why, though? That's, that's fucking wild. Uh, the window. Oh, you guys see that, right? You, you see, uh, see that? Yeah, hold on. Oh. Yeah. There's only two exits out of dogs. Okay. Yep. I'm going home. Yes, they say. They're flirt. They are trying to kill each other for dominance. Alright, I probably should move the bodies from here to Banana. cold storage. Banana. Banana. Come out, come out, wherever you are. I'll get you. Uh, I'll get you some special words in for Electrona. I think that it would work quite well.
I don't think I mentioned it before, but thank you for your work, Janitor. Where is Obsidian Black? Or Obsidian Void? The drink that we made yesterday, where is it? We need it, we need to use it as a poison. We need to use it as a poison. Can you show where it is? Like the, like the. Like... Can you, yeah, can you, you can, show, can you show me the way real quick? I can't believe that. We already have three bodies. They all look the same. Don't bother bringing in more. Oh no, we're killing all of them. Yes, you can. I don't care. Just you don't have to bring the bodies if they all look the same. Dude, dude, it's literally hunting season. Six, I'm going to get obsidian There's three in the back. I already have three bodies. If they all look the same. Yeah. I don't really think. They're all dead. Yes, that's fine, but. If they all look the same from the outside, I really doubt out of seeing six of them will I mean, give us more. Where did Dia go? That way. That way. Fuck, they went into the sewer. I mean, at this point, this is not for autopsy, this is for disposal. He's gone. By now. I mean, we don't have to do the disposal at the hospital. The bodies can be taken outside and burned. We have plenty of fire users. I mean, I'm just going to leave it here then, so we can just pile them back in the back of my truck and we can just bring them out later. The three bodies I already took to the cold storage. I can do the autopsy of them. If you will want to help, that would be appreciated to save time. If not, that's fine as well. If anything, we can do it separately as well to just speed it up. Yeah, that's. The first to get the bottom of this of them trying to fucking kill each other. Yeah, I can just leave this truck here. Yes, uh, once we're that's... done with that, just toss in the back. We can drive it out. Right. Let me move it out of the way so people don't get blocked in the fucking road. That's a good idea. I need to ask. I'm gonna hey, see if they just need does to it just need to be corrosive proof? Uh, sure. Airtight. I'm just gonna grab another slag barrel. That doesn't matter. I I got containers for this shit, so. Can I please have one? Thank you. Holy shit! Actually, Damien. Uh, 
Oh, never mind. Hey, do you like just work here or like can you go like up to like the power plant? <laughs> is, that a, is that a power plant? Yes or no? Like, okay, so, you, so that sounds like a no. Drunk enough to understand. <laughs> well, if, if you ever get time, uh, a bunch of people got shot at the uh, power plant, and there's a lot of blood on like the asphalt. I just if you just got like cleaning supplies for it, if you can leave them by my garage, I can take care of it. But if you're not doing anything, I wouldn't mind. Awesome. I've conveyed information. Fucker. Where was it? Rooftop? Top. All the way up. At least I thought I thought. Might not have. Okay, those fuckers are starting to really piss me off. Trying to look, I am able to do anything. Just so yes. you're aware, they, un they dug out the crate, I believe. Let me make sure. <laughs> I called dibs on it. <laughs> How bad would it be leaking, Kami? Uh, roll for it. Okay. Hey, uh... Well, uh, that, now it's up to you. Does 8 mean it's very leaky, or that it's not leaking? 
Just a bit, I said. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Has it fermented? <laughs> <laughs> it's been in there for less than a day. Like, like let's calm down now. <laughs> what are they trying to make? <laughs> Poison, I think. I think, Poison I think they... Oh. I think they made their bar, the bar area, into a sniper tower. <laughs> They're apparently going to use it as bait for something, Kami. Oh. That's another um one we're thinking about doing is a pit fight free for all mm -hmm. at um yeah. noon time. <laughs> well, I think that would be a fun one. It's a fun wind down session. Yeah. yeah. Fist fight where? <laughs> I'm down. Fist fight in the pit at boom town. Let's do this. Let's see, let's see if I can <laughs> set, a, set a new record for fist fight after the 28 <laughs> minute one in rosewood uh, a few weeks back. oh uh, yep <laughs> pov waffle house yeah <laughs> oh what well, god damn it <laughs> so I, yeah, dude I, you know I, how I many it. fists like waffle house should be like a ring itself you know yeah totally i would love to i i would like to think that like it's just a gentleman's game yeah. at like waffle houses now Oh god, Kami. <laughs> I hate this. Yeah, gentlemen, you know what? You know the they rules. Wanna... Hmm? They They dug up the fucking barrel and they want to use it as a bait for Iogen people. <laughs> they want to get the nah. Iogen people high. <laughs> hey. Let's go. <laughs> All right. <laughs> By the way, quick question: the Iogen folks are are for now only fighting each other. Not gonna bother. With yeah, uh, they were when they were in here. Yeah, yeah. We've done enough by now that okay. there's no Iogen in town. I'd say. Got it. Mm -hmm. And the ones that came to attack have left as well. So. Yes. Could even if you um wanted to, Kami. With what was the exact plan with Jean? Is she gonna be on the grounds hmm. next episode? When they find yeah, when they find Jean, is she gonna be on the grounds? Could be. Well, could they gonna find Jean? They want to meet Jean at the oasis behind the where the collective base was. Okay. Yeah, um, I was thinking she's gonna take the bus. Oh, interesting. Yeah, the green I was bus. Gonna say, if she had um injuries and stuff like that, you could say like some injuries, like burns and stuff like that, to try to say that it's like metahuman stuff. Mhm. Mm Maybe even yeah, introduce one if we wanted to. But that's mm -hmm. kind of up to what you guys want to do there. <laughs> yeah, Wolf. We'll see. Wolf, was that you? <laughs> Yeah, this has been a thing that's been running on the underground for a long ass time. So I see. yeah, they stopped. <laughs> yeah, the golem underground. Play my fucking game. Come on. 
Go down to the Undercity and play my goddamn game. Things calm down here. <laughs> the only I have three stored in the cold storage. Me and Asvera probably gonna take a look. Just well, in like case. no more though. Oh like we haven't seen more coming fuckers. in or anything. And then three in the truck. <laughs> if there are no more coming, I haven't Great, seen cool. any, anything else. Then it's gonna take it outside and dispose of them. All right. God damn it, Onyx. She's right there. <laughs> oh, Here. She's right there. Hey, you guys, man, quick call. Update, update on the situation. I can do you one better. Give me one sec. Hey, yo. Oh, I'll see oh. you guys soon. <laughs> Let me grab my gun, Kami. I'm not letting you out by yourself. Cool. I'm in the the the, the no clip room. Yep. I'm just I just gotta come all the way down again. Mhm. Mm This is gonna be my problem. Yep. Uh, uh, we I got you your uh, your crate back from them. Oh, the container here. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> what? I think they were hitting the sauce again. Uh, no, whoa, 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 whatever the hell it is. Whoa, 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 whoa. There's two yeah, there's one. two of them. Yeah, yeah, there's two, two of them. Yeah. I was wondering how he was getting around town so quickly. Like, I mean, one instant he was in the hospital, and then the next he was across town, but apparently he didn't have one. Yeah. Crazy. <laughs> Did you know we had cleaning you rats? Because, like, I didn't know we had cleaning rats. I've met... I asked if they could clean the... Two days ago? I asked if they could clean up the blood. Huh. I I used to think clean up the blood at the power station and they gave me a <laughs> Which I can't translate, so it must be like outside of their operating range or jurisdiction or something. I mean that sounds like a negative, right? I think. I asked him to shake or nod his head and he just kinda stood there and started talking again. I'm like You're not helpful. Mmm. Mm. You wanna go get that food? Sure. Um. In pocket. Mm. 
Right, well... Ooh. Hey, car. Oh. I think the janitor is <sighs> cleaning up the mayor? Okay. I don't know. Track. Just gonna grab something. Sure don't act like. Uh, yeah, you, you can hide over there. You can hide over there. I'm gonna enjoy Five my time two. with my buddies. I want to hear from the supposed uh, 500. Uh, 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 do you think they would show up or just hurt me? Maybe. Maybe. Okay. Hey. Yeah. It was also Jess. I don't know. There are many people in there. Where? Uh, in the bar? In the bar. Well, I hope they're not drinking that stuff again. No idea. No, I think it's a valid concern. Hmm. Again, he goes I missing like it, with, it's... with the passenger inside. Yeah. Now things are Now where things are happening. We need to secure this and fast. So we need to find him. Hi Jasmine! Hi Jasmine! Do. Hi Jasmine! I can only see one of you now, so I'm really happy to see that! Huh? Are there multiple of you? Not the last I checked, there weren't. Do I need to eliminate clones? Because it's. It was a. It was a well, Did you, you have see, a shrine? In, Did you have a shrine dedicated to him? That's what it sounds um, like. It's not. It's not so much a shrine. It's just he was really popular among like some of the students when he was like. Well, he graduated from the academy and. Let's just say he left a really good impression on the student body. He was really confident. I didn't mean it like that. I didn't mean like that either. You went there yourself. Mr. James was a popular student who graduated mm -hmm. with really high grades. Mm hmm Ah, uh, so it, it wasn't more so that, just more of a... Uh, idol worship, almost. Oh, that just sounds weird. It does. Is See, this the it, for this it, situation? It's perfect. Okay. You should do that for mm -hmm. every... You should do that for every situation. Especially when you're killing people. Understood. That's... Uh... 
we'll deal we'll deal with that another time. I need to run through what what I think. I don't know enough about this thing to like no. Does it have the software to know how to do any of the stuff it might be doing if that's what it's doing? I mean, it's well, a shift pilot. It's a navigational AI. It's a glorified GPS. It shouldn't know how to do any of this stuff. It shouldn't. But, let me, let me remind you, it killed its previous crew. Well, probably attempted to. Ah, uh, that's, that's true too. And according Remember, to the people who went to see it, it did manifest itself in a cannibal conversation. Yeah, just thinking about which I'm probably gonna drop off. I was about to head out. I just want to check in, like, see the progress on the, the Super Soaker you asked for. Super Soaker. Oh, yes. We handed that one off to Mr. Jam, I believe. I'll ask him about it oh, this okay. evening. Yeah, no, no problem. Mm. I, 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 just, you know, a little desert. That would be fun. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, some might argue it's a needless waste of water, but that's... Well, that's if you intend on using water. Conserve water. It is important for organic. Conserve water. We've got plenty of oil. I'll just use oil. That sounds messy. <laughs> but better than wasting water. Yeah, exactly. All right, I'm heading mm -hmm. now. All right. Take care. I can check the report. There is eight minutes before we have to send in a report. Very true. Hologram. Yeah, I'm gonna bounce. I'm freaking tired as hell and my eyes hurt like a motherfucker. watching hope you enjoyed this episode and i will see you guys next time later